Welcome to the Sports Car Lessons Podcast. I'm your host, Big Ken. Whether you're watching on YouTube or listening on a streaming service, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop any new content. Welcome. Thanks for being here. I just got home from North Carolina. Uh, I was planning on traveling a little later in the day today, uh, but after going down there um, on Tuesday and all the traffic I was running into, uh, I did not want to be sitting in traffic on Sunday. So uh, I got up bright and early, like 4.30 this morning and jumped on the road, uh, just pulled back into Connecticut. And uh, I know I talked about this episode going to be late, but surprise, <laughs> you get you get to get it on time. Um, so thanks for being here. Uh, I had a great time uh, in North Carolina with my daughter and my son-in-law, especially the grandkids. Uh, and also we had a 90th birthday celebration that kind of lasted, well, it lasted three days, but we part we partook, we partake. We were involved in it. How's that? We were involved in it for two days. Uh, and that was on my wife's side. So it was a pretty busy week down there. Um, I would usually be talking about, you know, a show or shows that I attended this weekend. But uh, this weekend, uh, even though there was a local show here, the Mohegan Show here in Connecticut, um, because of the 90th birthday celebration, we were able to get a lot of things done in one week. Uh, I had to miss that show, uh, but but family was definitely more important, and and it was a nice break too. And when I say a break, it it was it really a break? Because <laughs> because uh, that's kind of what today's episode is the things the things that I was doing down there just to you know stay in the hobby, right? Just be part of the hobby during the week. Um, my last two episodes were a little negative. They were a little on the negative side. Uh, so I want to get back on that positive train and talk about some hobby wins uh, that I had this week. Uh, and believe it or not, I had a number of wins this week. Uh, and, and, you know, they always say when you're least expecting it, great things can happen. And that's kind of what happened to me this week. Uh on Friday, uh, you know, I went over to uh, Cardiac Cards. I've talked about them a number of times. They're about 10 minutes from my daughter's house. Um, and I kind of mentally planned, you know, going down. I knew I was stopping there. I just didn't know what day. Um, but I knew I was going to be hitting, hit, hitting that place. And, you know, I went in. I got over there Friday, you know, probably... You know, maybe around 12 30, 1 o'clock. I went looking for my guy Sam, who's the owner who I visit with when I go down there. I uh, looked around the store. I didn't see him. Um, but I know from following him on or them, really, I should say, on social media, they just opened a second location uh, at the end of May at the, uh, I don't know how to say the name of this town, Canapolis, K A N N A P O L. IS. It's in North Carolina. It's about two hours away from the apex. Uh, and I assumed that's where Sam was. Uh, I looked around. I didn't see him. So, you know, I just started shopping, uh, seeing what I was going to buy. Uh, looking for some fun. When I was there the last couple of times, I bought some, you know, fun things to rip. And, uh, I knew by looking at the website, they had the uh, 2023, the Onyx uh, competitor hobby packs. I talked about, I think it was the last episode, I talked about pulling, you know, some great Trinity Rodman and some other autograph cards. They they come two cards per, pe per pack, they're autograph cards. Um, and they're inexpensive, and I and I liked pulling them. There were some more, some more of the... Uh, uh, there was a couple more people autographs I wanted to get. So I, I grabbed a couple packs of those. Uh, I ended up pulling, uh, two more Trinity Rodman autos, which I could, that never gets old for me to pull her autos. Uh, and I also pulled the uh, Katarina Macario auto. Uh, so I was kind of psyched about pulling that, uh, in, in, in the packs I had last week, I pulled, uh, I think it was three Alyssa Thompson. So I was, you know, Kind of excited to get uh, Katarina's card. 
Uh, and if you remember the last time I was there, I talked about one of the things I liked about the store, you know, of course, you know, hobby boxes are the way to go, right? Because if you get into a, a hobby box, I mean, the cards, you know, whatever the, the better of the cards that you're going to get in a set, you're going to pull them in, out of a hobby box, right? You're, you're always guaranteed something uh, out of a hobby box versus, you know, like a retail a blaster box or a mega box, things like that. Uh, and one of the things I kind of liked about this store was, you know, every hobby box they sell in there, I'm going to say every, pretty much every, they have and all sports, not just football, all sports and even, you know, pop culture. They have a hobby box that's open where you can just buy the single packs. Uh, so the last time I was there, I bought a few packs and I, and I kind of like that because I would rather you know, be able to have a shot at some of the hobby box stuff without having to buy the whole box, nor would I ever, you know, invest some of the amounts of money that they ask for these uh, hobby boxes. And, and, you know, I know people always say, oh, don't buy singles, don't buy single packs, uh, especially hobby stuff. But, you know, the last two times at the store, I've had some luck. So, uh, and, and I have to say this, this time wasn't any different. Um, I purchased two optic football packs. Now, you know, there's 20, that, those boxes, there's 20 packs in there. Uh, and, and among everything else, you're guaranteed one auto. Uh, and I purchased two of those packs and I ended up pulling the one auto in the box. Now, it wasn't a great auto, right? It was James Cook uh, from Buffalo. It was Great Iron Kings. Uh, it was auto number to 99. Uh, and I'll just throw that up there on the screen. If you're watching on YouTube, you get to see it. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's, it's probably an inexpensive card, but if you're going to hit a car, if you're going to buy two packs and you're going to get the auto, right? It really doesn't matter who it was. I mean, you probably hit one of the best cards in the box. Um, I also purchased two Don Russ, um, uh, their hobby box football packs. Uh, and out of there, which was a great card, I pulled a Desmond Ritter downtown. So, and I will hold that up too. Um, obviously, a lot more popular than the first card. <laughs> so, uh, and I was so excited to hit this card, especially, you know, I'm, me talking about Desmond Ritter. Um, I couldn't have asked for more you know, opening, you know, opening those packs and pulling that out. Um, and I thought about that card the whole way home because I looked up and I looked up comps on that card and I thought, should I grade it? Should I hold it for national? Um, but I decided to put it up on eBay for a seven day auction. Uh, I think that's, um, uh, that was my decision for this card. Um, and I do have to say, in the store, uh, it was pretty cool being recognized. Now, you know, you go to these shows, and I talk about being at a lot of these shows. Uh, and, of course, people see me. They see watch the podcast. They know what I look like. I don't know what most people, you know, if, if I've never met you, I don't know what you look like. Um, and they'll come up and introduce themselves, and, you know, we, we go from there. But it was just kind of cool being in another state, being in the store, mentioned nothing. Uh, and the guy who came over to help me, Seth, uh, walked over, you know, did you find everything you need? And I said, yeah, I want to grab this and that. And as he went around the counter, he turned and looked back at me, did a double take. And he said, hey, do you have a podcast? And I said, yeah, I do. He goes, yeah, I've seen you. I've seen you on YouTube. And I was, and I just thought to myself, man, that's great. I mean, I'd love to hear something like that. Somebody just recognized me. Now I know a number of the employees uh, definitely listened or watched the episodes where I talked about the store, um, you know, in late in season one and early in se early season two, I talked about the store and, and obviously some of the guys are still listening and watching. So that was really cool. Uh, and after I checked out, Seth's like, yeah, come here, let, let, I'm going to hook you up with some free merch. So before I left, I got some free merch too. It's it kind of cool. You know, it was, uh, you know, I know for most people are like, oh yeah, that's great. But you know, for someone, you know, when I do this and I put this in and you never know how it's received out there. Right. So it's, uh, it's just kind of cool for somebody just to, you know, recognize me in a store, you know, uh, pretty far away from my, 
my home base here. And uh, I just thought that was great. So shout out to uh, Seth and everyone over at Cardiac Sports and Memorabilia uh, over in Apex. Uh, and there's more, believe it or not, uh, more wins, more hobby wins. I stopped at the Walmart uh, after leaving Cardiacs, uh, which is almost right around the corner. Uh, and why I was there picking up a few things, I went over and checked out their uh, card section, uh, feeling lucky, of course, after playing these these, these great cards. Uh, and they had the 2022 Mosaic Hanger just sitting all by itself on the shelf. How could I not buy it? Um, and, and, you know, you always hear people say hangers are bangers, right? And if I had my choice, I'd buy a hanger over any, any of the, you know, any of the other boxes. Uh, so that box I actually took home, bought it, went home, uh, or went well, not home, but back to my daughter's. I got back there. I ripped it open and hiding inside. I bet you're probably guessing right now what it is, but. It was a Desmond Ritter Genesis, and I will hold that up. So I was very excited to hit this card. Uh, and there was also the orange reactive Desmond Ritter. So it was, you know, definitely a, a Desmond Ritter day for me. Um, the Genesis uh, card, I will, I'm going to send that one off to PSA. Um, and it's as strange as strange as it sounds when looking at the recent sales between uh, the uh, the Ritter, the downtown, um, and the Genesis. It, it appears that the Genesis is more rare than the downtown. I mean, there's just a ton of people selling downtowns uh, online for a very good price. But there's very few sales and very few people selling the Genesis cards, which to me just looks like it's a little bit more of a rare card. Uh, and it may be a card that I just want to grade and keep for now. Um, just one of those short prints that's really kind of cool. And maybe I'll just hold on to that one. But it was definitely uh, an afternoon of wins. And, and I just want to say one more thing that happened on that afternoon. So... About two weeks ago, um, I sent out an order to PSA, you know, really keeping an eye on the dates, like trying to um, make sure whatever I'm sending that I want back for the national uh, that, you know, it's going to make it back and watching the dates. So the first order I had sent out to PSA uh was the monthly special, I think it was called New Faces, right? It was 2022, 2023. Um, and I sent that out. I, I needed to get that out before the end of May. And I think on um, June 1st, I sent another order or pretty close, right around there. So the, the, that particular order had 20 cards and I sent one with 40 cards. So when I was preparing to leave to go to North Carolina, um, I was waiting on some cards to come and I'm looking at the PSA and they're like, well, 65 days for, and I know that the turnaround time has become, you know, it's getting better. And I said, you know what, I'm going, I had enough cards. I had 20 cards and, you know, that's on the bulk order. That's all you needed. I said, you know, I'm, I think I'm just going to send these out on Monday or on Tuesday morning before I go. Uh, just so I know they're there and I'll know, you know, I have a really good shot of getting them back. So why I was there, why I was got home that afternoon, I, 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 you know, when I left, those cards had been received uh, and they were marked up to grading on that first order of 20 cards. So those cards weren't even there two weeks. I mean, literally not there two weeks. Those cards were there a week and a half, maybe what? 10 days, nine days. And I get a notification that your grades are ready. I'm like, my, my what, what is going on here? And I pulled it up and yeah, they're already shipped those, those cards. So here it is Sunday. And I looked at the uh, FedEx, those, they, those, that first order of 20 cards is going to be here on Tuesday. And here I was worried about the end of July, you know? So, um, 
the second order of 40 cards um, are already in assembly. They've already been graded. They're already in assembly. Um, and those those went out four days after the the, the 20 card order. So um, another win on that one particular day, just knowing that, you know, these cards are coming back and and, you know, I'm hoping for, uh, you know, I, I, I never want to look at the grades. I just want to wait for them to come because it doesn't matter if I can see them there. To me, it just becomes more exciting that. If I get this box and start pulling them out one at a time, you know, it's almost like scratching a lottery ticket, right? You know, you could just scan it in the machine and, you know, see if it's a, or you can take the time and let the excitement build up. And, and I enjoy on the, the PSA orders. I, I enjoy the excite, excitement to build up. So yeah, it was another win on that day with this PSA order coming back so quickly, so quickly. And I know, um, I was listening last week uh, on they were talking about um, the, you know, the amount of cards that were being graded at all the the for the different companies. And they said they were pretty they were really down in May. So that may be another you know reason why these cards are getting graded so fast and coming back. But I don't mind. It's just, you know, I, I definitely need I don't need. Right. Uh, but I definitely want there's a number of these cards I want graded and and ready for sale at the national so happy happy to see that um i did come home to uh five parkside nwsl hobby boxes that i pre-ordered uh back in early may uh so those uh just shipped and of course you know everything happens while you're away i came home to a pile of packages, but this was by far the one I was, you know, pretty excited about. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, digging into those boxes tonight and uh, see what I can uh, see, what kind of fun I can, I can pull out of those boxes. Um, this is episode, uh, it's season two, episode 47. Um, but overall, it is episode 97. So episode 100 closing in fast. Um, so probably within, what, uh, 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 three episodes will be 100 episodes. And I haven't quite figured out uh, how I'm going to uh, how I'm going to celebrate the 100th. But uh, I will definitely keep you updated on that. Have to definitely do something just a little special for a hundred episodes because sheesh, I never thought, never thought when I started this, that I would hit, I would hit a hundred episodes. Uh, and, um, now that I'm here, I'm like, Oh, that's, it's just a hundred, you know, but you know, I'm really excited that this is, uh, this has worked out, uh, the way it, the way it has. And I really, it's something I really, I really enjoy doing, uh, and, uh, I'm happy to be here with you guys week after week. So that's all I have for today. Another short episode. Uh, definitely a little tired right, from, uh, you know, 10 hours of driving home. Uh, looking forward to a good night's sleep tonight. Uh, and I'll be back at it Thursday. A new episode for you on Thursday. Uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. If you like what you hear, please like, definitely subscribe. And most importantly, tell a friend and spread the word. And until next time. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you.